Hi, hi, hello, hi, hi, and welcome to Ballin' with BT. I'm your host, Brandon Thomas. And we're back. Today I'm here with Hanville Lady Tiger superstar pitcher, Carly Toronto. How are you feeling today, Carly? I'm feeling great today, Brandon. It would be an understatement to say that your team is just winning. Y'all are completely annihilating the competition. How does it feel, you know, for lack of a better term, to be top dog? So Jaquan, with the sting of defeat, how do you feel like your fellow, fellow Tigers are using that loss to fuel the upcoming season? I usually, I used to watch the championship game every night and it used to hurt me to think about it. People just asked me, man, how, how y'all lost the game? How y'all did that? Y'all supposed to win? I'm like, that's just a football game. You win something, you lose something. At the end of the day, it hurt me so bad. Like, I really, really cried after the game. Like, cause we were going there like, we gonna win. I'm sitting next to Puka. He said, man, I'm getting 600 yards, dog. And at the end of the day, I look, when we got back on the bus, I looked at him, I said, we didn't do good, man. And I just. Very emotional moment for you. Yeah. I understand, I understand. Hi, I'm Brandon Thomas here with Homeville Tiger superstar first baseman, Courtney Ardigo. How you doing today, Courtney? Great. <laughs> Courtney, you just came off an incredible win just now, 15 to nothing against the 31st seed, Como. Is this where you expected to be at this point of the year? Most definitely. Like I told you before this race started, I said Jaden News has a chance of overtaking Anthony Williams. The video on the line, bro. Look at little man, the world of win. Cohen winds up, delivers, solid shot. Yeah. Deep shot. Good job. shot. Hit, hit Dane the fence. Wides, rounding first and ends up at second. Let's go, Dane. These are two of the Paris' best basketball players right here going against each other. Number four, Glenn Grover, and number zero, Lucky Maxson. Who is not scared to drive in the lane for this West Jeff team? When is enough going to be enough? When are they going to take King off the mound and replace it with somebody that could attempt to pitch a straight line down the middle? Basically, give. One of the many courses that is offered at the Satellite Center is Students Teaching the Rishi, also known as STAR. Students who chose to take this course leave very positive remarks. The purpose of this class is really an introduction to the teaching uh, environment uh, as a whole. Uh, so if anyone's interested in going into teaching or anything to deal with students, uh, or going into anything with the school environment, this is the course for them. Please join us for the Satellite Center's open house on February the 20th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Hi, and welcome to Ballin' with BT. I'm your host, Brandon Thomas. On today's show, we're going to have J.R. Blood on to talk about his success and the future of the Wildcats football and basketball team. Plus, I'll give you my top five uniforms from around the parish. Ballin' with BT starts right now.
devote time to master one sport, it's an impressive feat. But when you do it with two, you're somebody special. My next guest knows all about that. JR Blood, next on Balling BT. And we're back. I'm here with Mr. Desher and himself, JR Blood. How you doing today, JR? I'm good, and you? I'm great. Let's start off with football, JR. You've been the starting quarterback for two years going on three, and you've been surrounded by some great talent. But now you have arguably some of the greatest in the state. A Mississippi commit in Quentin Tober, a SEC talent in Carl Lewis, and just a rare breed in John Emery. How do you think this team is ready to take it to the next level? Honestly, I think we're so ready, BT. I mean, considering all the people that you've already mentioned and a line that's ready to fight and a defense that's coming back and receivers that you haven't mentioned and running backs that you haven't mentioned, I honestly think that we've been together for so long that we're honestly ready to take it to that next level. All right, JR, being the starting quarterback for the Wildcats puts you in some great company. From Jordan Jefferson to Donovan Isaac, and who can forget that incredible run that Marquise Darrisburg had? But out of all those quarterbacks, only one in Jordan Jefferson has one ring. How do you plan to change that? I mean, there's only one thing I can do. Fight, pray, and do everything with a purpose. All right, JR, now let's transition to the basketball court. Last season, the Wildcats had a pretty good season, to say there were a lot of new pieces, but didn't meet the preseason expectations. Now with talents like Mako Marin, Jalvin and Alvin Michael, are the Wildcats now ready to take their talents to the championship? I mean, last year was really our trial and error year, and like we went through a lot of trials and tribulations. I mean, we had a lot of young pieces and we had pieces, but I feel like this year, again, with us all being together and having that year last year, we don't feel it again, and we're just ready to take it to the next level. All right, JR, the Hornwood Tigers are gonna be at a disadvantage next year with the young talent. How do you plan as a captain of the basketball team, how do you plan to just take advantage of that and win the game? I mean, people classify like young talent as a disadvantage or stuff like that, but I learned growing up and from past experience, you can't really take anybody lightly. So just go out there and handle our business. All right, JR, thank you and good luck in the upcoming season, man. Thank you, BT, appreciate that. Coming up, we're gonna take a look at my top five uniforms and much more next on Ball and BT. NFL Hall of Famer Deion Sanders once said, if you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you play good. And if you play good, they pay good. You might not be getting paid in high school, but rocking these uniforms and the sex that these teams are having, you might end up being there one day. Number five, Destran football home uniforms. These uniforms made by Nike take a unique spin on the garnet and white classic uniforms that Destran used to sport. But now they sport gray shoulder sleeves. Number four, 
Sticking with Destran, we have the Destran girls basketball away uniforms. Talk about looking good and playing good, these units were sported by the Lady Cats in their 2016 championship campaign. Keeping it simple with a garnet base with hints of gray and white. Number three, next we transition to Harmville where the boys basketball team sports an all white home uniform this year straying away from the white and gold combo from last year. Number two, now right here we have something special. The Harmville Tiger football away uniforms. These units have been featured in some of the Tigers' biggest games from last year's Battle on the River against Destrahan, the Heart Stopper against Acadiana, and the Tigers' first championship appearance since 2003 in the Superdome. And number one, finally, we have the Harmville Softball Blackout Uniforms. This combo is unlike any other on this list, being that it's the only uniform that uses an alternate color, which is black, as the main theme throughout the entire uniform. I hope we get to see these do some damage in the state playoffs. Well, that'll do it for Ballers BT. I would first like to thank the Lord because without him, none of this would be possible. I would also like to thank my parents for supporting me and pushing me to do my best work. And I would also like to thank anybody who helped me throughout this process. And I especially would like to thank my guest. For Baldwin BT, I'm your host, Brandon Thomas. Good night.